So hey, hey guys, hey, this is admin. So just creating some quick videos real quick. So we just did the custom containers. Awesome. So you can add your own stuff. And uh, yeah, we just did the Debian uh, proof of concept. So anyways, this is version 7.6 of Plex God. Um, the purpose of this video is to just kind of show you a demo on how the update works. So it's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's actually, uh, it was hell of a code, <laughs> but it was needed. Um, because if any of you use version 7.5 below, you're going to have to go through this mini upgrade process just to make sure that everything's working. But in the future, there should be no problems because I made the installer independent of the project. So just to show you how it works, we're going to exit and we're just going to type PG update. So we're going to just talk a little bit how it works. So you see how it says pulling update files. So what happens is when this first kicks in, there's it actually runs in a loop. So when it runs in a loop, it's waiting it basically is executing a command that says, hey, go to the second project. Well, first of all, delete what I have now. Reach out to the second project, like what I have. Download the files. Then once the files are downloaded, it basically does a cat. So it looks at the very first line. It just kind of is like, all right, this is the latest version. And here is the current version. So this pulls a variable that you have on your system. So if you ever want to see what versions of Plex Guide are out there for you, um, you can't. The good thing about this new setup is, is that you can use any prior version of Plex Guide all the way down to 7.0, uh, 7.60. So in the past, you you could only use a limited list of, that I had, and it's just because of the way things ran. But this is a whole new system. So we're going to go to this website right here, and we're going to go in there, and it should forward me. See, look at that. And see? So you can install any of those versions. So over time, as this thing builds, like we can be on version 8.1. We can be on version 7.9, 12, whatever is out there. As long as it's on this list, you can type it. So over time, like let's say 7.6 is done. We're going to 7.7, right? There might be a few I might just take out just because we know that it's very stable. So, um, but the goal here is to, to have a aggregated list of things that you can type in. So if you want to go down to 7.60, feel free to, because it is, there's a bug in it. Uh, I believe that if you install this version, <laughs> when you, Go to the main menu, then you go back, it'll exit out. So, but this is just to show you how well it works. So we're gonna go to Plex Guide. We're just gonna go into something and then I'm gonna exit. See, so it, it, it just took me out completely. So that's a bug, right? But the point though is, is that you can install any one of these versions. So if I go to Plex Guide, again, it, it works, but it's not something you wanna use. So if I do PG update, it's basically pulling this file again. See how it says current version. So it's pretty cool, you can bounce around. So in 7.6.1, we're going to go in here. And for example, here's some minor touch-ups I did. So I'm going to type Plex Guy. And we're going to go to PG Clone. And you'll notice, well, not this one. It's the Cloud One instances. So this is just something minor, right? You notice that the reference is down here. I've, I've been trying to standardize to put it up there. But if I go into the newer versions of Plex Guide, PG Update. And you, you notice how smoothly this is running, the update process, right? So if I go here, you'll notice a fix. Plus, there's also some other fixes that were made, too. If you ever use the Edge versions, those are versions that are like, technically, they're at the top. But do not use that unless I tell you to use it or there's some testing going on. Uh, it's highly recommended not to use Edge. So, um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and type Plex Guide. And then if I go to... Um, this, you notice that it's standardized right there. And so, so here's some other tweaks we did, right? So if I go here, let's say we go to PG Box App Installer. And again, the purpose of this is to show you how uniform this thing runs, right? So if we type um, NetData, actually, I'm trying to think. I don't have a domain deployed, but let's see. So if I type NZB git, then I do, no, 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 no. Actually, let's avoid that one. Sorry, it just takes a little bit longer for the purposes of this video. So three, I just need to pick something simple. What is something that's simple that's quick? All two, there we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and deploy it. And there's some, there's some other UI fixes that I did also. So that's the purpose of the update system. You can bounce back and forth. Now the key thing is you need to look at the change log, right? So if you don't look at the change log, it's not gonna, you're not gonna know what version is causing you issues. So you'll see more frequent updates hopefully. And in the change log, you'll notice that it says in 7.4, here is fixes for this. 
here was UI fixes, here's fixes for the processor. So if something's bugging out on you, you have any issues, you can backtrack on a version and install the version prior to that. You know, and you could be like, well, hey, between this version and this version, I've detected this issue. Now, normally I do an insane amount of testing. That's why you see those pictures there. But sometimes people have special systems or the people are a little bit special needs themselves. So um, yeah, but other than that, you notice that the interface changed here. So this is not really a bug. But for some reason, I have a variable like so when there's no domain, it will say not set. But I have something around here that's inserting no domain into the placeholder it shouldn't be doing that. The reason for that is, is because it should because there's no domain setup, it should be only showing you this. So little things like that. Right. You would notice that. Trust me on it. But other than that, that's how the update system pretty much works. If it ever stalls out on you, um, it shouldn't. But if it ever stalls on you, just exit. You know, run Plex guide and go into it again. I, I think I had it one occasion, but it was more network issues on my end. So, but other than that, this, this should just keep you pretty much up to date. Huh, see, I typed. So you just type exit, make sure that's working. Okay. But other than that, yeah, please feel free to comment, post questions, anything that's on your mind. You know, feel free to donate, be part of our lovely community. And I do appreciate your time and checking out this video. Have a good one.